Hi everybody, welcome back to building more tables, yet more tables, with Access. Last time we built table authors for, uh, as an example, to help you along with lab number two. Now we're going to build table books. So here's our entity relationship diagram. We're going to build this structure. So let's go and open up Access. Here we go. And you'll notice when Access comes up, um, it may happen, I'm pretty sure this happens in the labs, it may happen on your home computer, that you get this security warning. Let's just take a look at it. Security alert. Visual Basic Application Macro. And it's, uh, this, this just says, um, uh, you should leave this content disabled unless the, current, uh, the content provides critical functionality. It doesn't provide any functionality. So just uh, leave it like so. Click OK. And we're ready to go. Now, if you click on uh, uh, Authors here, you'll see that that gets highlighted. And um, we've already built this table. We now want to build a new one. So I'm going to click on the Create tab. Now, with Create tab, you get a creation of the four main things that Access does. Creating tables, creating forms to enter data to those tables, reports to spit out information from those tables, and queries to query the data in the database. You're going to be working in Lab 2 with tables, forms, and with, uh, with query. But for now, we're going to be focusing on tables. Now, video number one took us through how to use tables in this manner. I'm going to go instead to pick this one, uh, the Table Design tab. And Table Design tab opens a new table right in the Design view. Now, what's going to go in place here? Well, again, we just return, we take a look, at our entity relationship diagram here, book ID, title, comment, rating, and author ID. These are going to be our fields. So I'll go here and I'll put in the field and I'll put in book ID and oh, I've got a typo in there, book ID and I will create this data type as auto number. Now this is really important because book ID is going to be your primary key. And you can make primary keys a number of ways. I'm going to just put this right mouse click right beside book ID and select primary key, or you could have just clicked primary key. Anyway, primary key, remember that you that that sets up a field to uniquely identify a record in a database. In this case, in this table, it's going to be book ID uh, in table books. Now that means the reason I selected auto number is because I want the values in the primary key never to replicate because unique identifier, it means that every single value that goes into book ID, uh, book ID must be unique. It can't be duplicated at any time. Auto number will ensure that every entry into book ID is unique. Okay, well next from our list, we'll just go back and check the list again here. It's title of text and then comma, comment of type memos. Just put in title. Now I hope you notice text is auto. I hope you notice that uh, capitals count here. In the database parlance, names are very, very important. So a comment, a field name with a, a lowercase c as opposed to an uppercase c would be different. I'm going to select memo here because I'm going to want to put uh, perhaps a lot of information into comment. And if I just had it be text, I would be restricted to 256 characters, 254 characters. All right, so book ID, title, comment, rating, and I am going to make that a number. And I'm just going to check that it's an integer. Good, it is. And finally, um, I'm going to put in something strange here. I'm going to put in author ID. Now we had author ID. It was here. It's the primary key in table authors. But here it is going to be what we call a foreign key. And I'm going to say, well, it's going to be a number. So now we've got our table. It's all set up the way that, uh, the way that we want it. So you can come up here and click on Save. And you'll be prompted to give the table a name. I'm going to call this Books. As per our um, as per, per our entity relationship diagram, say okay, and we're done with creating our second table. 